On today's episode of Mummy's Boy, we discuss how to scare off stalkers. What a thirst trap is. What orange peel theory is. And how to deal with an age gap. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. It's Mummy's Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to Mummy's Boy with me, Arthur Hill, and my adorable and eloquent mother, Ooh. Lisa. Say hello, Mum. Hello. Deep down, I've always been a mummy's boy at heart, and in this weekly podcast, I get to spend some quality time with Mum and receive some much-needed advice that only a mother can give. But sometimes my mum needs help too. TikTok, mm. social media, viral videos, celebrities, these are all things which my poor mum just can't get her head round. Still. So I'm here to help her before this modern world leaves her behind. Thank you, Arthur. Not only will I help her unravel the mysteries of youth and bring her into the digital age, but I'll also be making Lisa's motherly wisdom available to all of you as well. Why can't you say digital? I don't know. Digital. Digital. Oh, is it me? Oh, bugger. Wow. <laughs> You said I didn't need it. It's, that's Jack's fault. <laughs> Good start, everyone. Um, blah, blah. Ah, so. <laughs> Great. Well if you're, <laughs> so if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story that you are desperate for Arthur's mum to read, slide into our DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or send us a message or even a voice note to WhatsApp on 07822. 013837. And no matter what the issue, I will ask her in a feature I like to call Mum, can we talk? Talk. talk. Yeah. Well, 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 well. Welcome back. Well. Come back. Well. Well, well, welcome come back. Come back. To Mummy's Boy Pod. Yes. Are you Mom, welcoming me or the listener? Just, uh, everyone, everyone involved. Everyone. Welcome. Um, the listeners, the watchers, the producers. Yes. The haters. Oh, I hope we haven't got many of those. We've got loads. No, um, really? Yeah, but more importantly, how many pigeons... Oh, God, no. Oh, no. ...would need to be in your house before you thought someone was putting them there? <laughs> <laughs> Jack... Oh, for heaven's sake. One, I don't want any pigeons in my house. Why would there no, be a pigeon in my you house? You wouldn't think that one would mean, you wouldn't assume that one pigeon is in your house. Well, do you know, because of what's been going on over the last few weeks, yes, I would. If there was just one thing in my oh, house, I, I would think that's a your setup. Your first thought would be that it was, it was it, me. It, my Jack. first thought would be, Jack <laughs> has put a pigeon in my house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what if this hadn't happened? If you're just a if normal, that hadn't happened, normal non If I was a normal mother, person, yeah. I'd probably think, well, it's got to be a handful, hasn't it? I don't know how many it was. I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, even one is not going to be good, is it? A pigeon. I think I'd say if like it was a five. sparrow. No, if it was a a normal, but not a normal bird, like a sparrow or a robin or something that we normally have in the garden that could have just flown in. Yeah, but there's pigeons nilly, everywhere. Yeah, but they don't come. They don't come in the house. I've never had a pigeon in the house. I've had. I've a heard of people who've had a pigeon house. in the house. You have not. I definitely have. You, I feel like I've seen a video of like a pigeon in a house. Oh well, definitely. it was probably a setup. It was probably it was Jack. Probably Jack. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think it would be. I don't know how many. Five plus, I think. Five plus. But then, it, in my head, it could also be like fifteen. Can you imagine they, they if there flock, was that many? They? Oh, they, they I was could, eight. That. I was thinking like how many there are in groups. Imagine all the poo. It would be horrible. Like they could just be trying to help each other. I don't know how many. I don't know how many it'd be for me to start assuming that there's foul play involved. Foul play. Foul play. <laughs> chickens. No, that would be chickens, yeah. not pigeons. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, Close dear. enough. Oh God! If they start, it, are we going to have one of these at the beginning <laughs> of every pod now? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Um, yeah, okay. So my answer is one. One I pigeon. I don't want any pigeons in my I house. I feel bad for the you. pigeons, you know. We ruin them. What do you mean we ruin them? It's all them? our fault. What is? Do you not know about pigeon law? No, As Arthur. As in L-O-R-E, not pigeon law. No, I don't know. They don't have law. No, I don't know pigeon law. They, they, we, we domesticated them. They used to... We wouldn't have won the bloody war without Well, that without is the very... Tr no, that, don't snigger. Oh, um, 
You're absolutely right. They did a great job in the yes. war. And then, but they probably enjoyed that with their little <laughs> bags and their little messages. Yeah, I mean, I can't speak. I, there's no documentation of how much pigeons enjoyed World War One, no, or all the wars, no, any war. But once they did their duty and they did their duty with honour, yes. Mm. Did they get a medal? A message from the pigeon. <laughs> brr, brr, brr. Indeed, the Germans are going. <laughs> <gasps> Bloody hell. Um, and there's pigeon racing as well. Not anymore, though. There was. Or is there it still is. pigeon racing? Oh, my God, yeah. And apparently pigeons are really clever. I mean, obviously well, they're what, really this, clever. This, they is, what, this is the whole point. They were the very smart. I mean, you can... Well, maybe they still are. How do you know well, no, that they're not? Because we, we, set, we just let them all go. And they sort of... They didn't learn how to... They, they don't know how to, like... What? Speak English now. Oh, dear. <laughs> Do I don't know the ins and outs. All I know is that they were very smart and are very smart. And now, because we let them go, they didn't. Because they we were domesticated, them... right? They didn't learn how to live by themselves. They, so that all these, all the new pigeons have no idea. Like that's why they just flock and eat. All new pigeons. All new well, pigeons. No, I am right about no, this. I, no, I all... don't think you are. Yes, I am. <laughs> no, you're not. I don't not. mean new pigeons. I mean pigeons that we know since the oh, war. Personally, look. <sighs> Our friends, the pigeons. No, but since we let them go, all the pigeons that have been born since then. Since the war. Since the war, or whenever the last time we used pigeons were, <laughs> don't don't know how to live properly. Right. They don't know how to... Change a bed or do Change a bed or marry or... Don't they? I don't know. They don't know any of that. And it's a shame. I think we need to look into smart. this. We need to ask They are very David smart because he's about to fly, you know. But maybe they still are really smart. All those pigeons well, in Trafalgar so smart, Square. Why are they just knocking around Trafalgar Square like a bunch well, maybe of idiots? They're, having a, well, they're probably having a lovely time. Or they're swooping. plotting. They, they're well, plotting there you the, are. They could be the plotting. The revolution. Indeed. I can't wait for the pigeon version the of pigeon Les Miserables. <laughs> 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 oh dear oh dear anyway yes um well that's fascinating speaking Arthur. of singing i just just come back from tour tour tour. <gasps> tour our tour our tour, tour. Oh, yeah tour. Yes. it was amazing yes did you like well the, the one bit show? i saw was amazing anyway did yes. you enjoy it I it was really nice did. seeing you in the in the crowd was it with with family with the fam etc we were all there I think it was the best show. I mean, it's the biggest. It was the biggest one. It was amazing. Bristol was very quaint, but they're very loud still. Quaint? Quaint. It was very like a sm It wasn't much bigger than this room, to be really? honest. Really? No. Oh, goodness me. Yeah. Okay. Um, and there was carpet. It was weird. Carpet? There was a carpeted stage. Oh, I couldn't that's... do any of my slidey... No, slidey moves. Okay. Don't burp. Moonwalking. Arthur. I didn't burp. You so <laughs> did. <laughs> he did. Um... Uh, so no sliding no, moves. Yeah, and then Manchester. In Bristol. Well, Manchester was amazing. Manchester was apparently, amazing, except I wasn't your mic went off. Expecting it to be so good, but yes, just very loud. I think northern crowds. Somebody said something to me. I presume it must have been Charlotte about you touching your toes or something at Manchester. Yes. What was that all about? Where that was going to go? Yes, I I touched <laughs> my toes on because why I did a series on my second uh, TikTok account. Well, second TikTok my, yes, account. Yes, I sort of. What's that? Burner account, as they say. No, it's not a burner account. A actually. burner account? A burner Isn't account? That... No, no, it's you not. You have a burner it's account. It's a spam you're a account, criminal. sorry. Oh. It's oh. where you sort of. It's quite hard to explain the science behind it. It's like. Is there it, a it's science? the sort of one you care less about. So you sort of oh. post just nonsense, sort of on, nonsense it. on there. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, like a normal account then. What, it is, what is it? Uh, what is it called? It's had many names. Is it? I believe at the moment it's called Arthur Not Bothered. Arthur Not Bothered? Yes. But it has oh, been Arthur Way Up the Hill. <laughs> Arthur Noon Tea. Arthur what? Arthur Noon Tea. Arthur Noon Tea. Very good. And Arthur Pint of Lager and a packet of crisps, please. <laughs> that didn't fit. Oh, really? Was it too yeah, many characters? Too many characters. Oh dear! I'm a pretty big character myself. Indeed, you are. Um, anyway, I okay. did. A, I did a series where I'm gonna. I said I'm gonna post every day of me trying to touch my toes. Oh, until okay. I can touch my toes. Why can't you touch your toes? How come you can't? Because I'm very, your toes? very stiff. Are you? Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, neither did I. 
until you decided to try and yeah, touch your toes. It's really bad, actually. That is bad. You should be able to I'm touch injured. your toes at your Can age. Can you touch your toes? Yes. You really? I don't know. Can we somehow... Oh, there, don't there room make enough me... In the, yeah, please, come on. <coughs> where, where, where should you go? Just there, there. If you can touch your toes, I'd actually be really ashamed of myself. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's so bad. And you don't ever stretch or exercise. No, I don't. You're absolutely right. That, see, that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand What's wrong why with you me? can't... Why can't... No, but I won't be able to do it now because I... Oh. Right, go on then. <laughs> Is he a long way off? Yeah. He's about a foot oh, away. God, Arthur! It's excruciating and Okay, right. Oh. You ne- no, okay, stop. <laughs> right, you need to see someone. It's bad, isn't it? That is bad. Yeah. I mean, I'm, every muscle is apparently very bad. That's why I'm injured. So, so apparently it's waiting to happen. Very tight everywhere. Oh, Gordon Bennett. Right, okay. So you need to get to a physio. Physio, I do, yeah, for many reasons. Yes. I can't remember what we were talking about. We were talking about, about touching my toes. Touching your toes. Was, and people were showing so, so, signs on their phone that read, like, touch your toes the whole time. Oh. Um, oh. And then, I was, and then they got more and more aggressive. They're like, stop ignoring me, touch your fucking toes. <gasps> These signs rude. in the crowd. So then I, I, you I were did, singing? Whilst I was singing, yeah. How rude. Um, and then I... Good job I, I um, I did it. I did manage to do it on stage. Thank God. Um, but it was a good moment, you know. But yeah, God, that's really stressed okay. me out that you can do that. So easily. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say it was easy. But you were doing it like back and forth. What do you mean was back she? and forth? What, bouncing? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty easy. She actually touched the floor, not just the... Did yeah, you really I... touch the floor as I well? I did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I'm so far off that. Well, yeah, you... Can you... And sort. I've been stretching like every day for, I didn't on tour, but. Well, so it's hamstrings, isn't it? Isn't it hamstrings? More, that... What hurts is my calves. Yeah, that's hamstrings, isn't it? What? I don't know where they are. No. Are your hamstrings in your calves? <laughs> or are they the ones higher up? <laughs> How can you touch your toes? They know what the difference. Hamstrings, <laughs> hamstrings are up there. Are they? Hamstrings are here. Calves. I can't see here. It's underneath the well, table. Hamstrings are your, like behind, just below your bum. Oh, like, okay. To, to your sort of back, back knee. Your back knee. Yeah, it's the technical term. <laughs> and then below the knee is your, on the back is your calves. Oh, okay. I thought, I always thought hamstrings were the bits up your calves. Obviously not. Uh, okay. So, well, your fans were very rude to be doing that to yes. you. Yes. Although I have to say, I thought your fans were a lovely bunch. They were. They were. They were very lovely. Yeah, they were really but nice. But I hear you were, you were getting mobbed. I was. It was in extremely the amusing. Which is... And I and I was very happy to say that I met some male fans. N- nice, lovely. Well, which was a bit of a surprise because it is predominantly girlies, mm-hmm. and there were some lovely young chaps. What did you talk about? What? Did, who were they? Well, they were quite pissed. It has to be said. Really? Was one of them in the blue jumper? Oh, well, I don't bloody know. Billy and Eddie, brothers. Billy and Eddie yeah. were brothers. One of them had a cap on. Yeah, yeah, they were yeah. so I funny. Well. I spent a lot of time with them, but it was nice to meet some boys mm. who were fans, yeah. and they loved it. Well, I remember the guy, the, the blue guy in the cap. Right, I met afterwards. Oh, okay, yeah, he and said he said he'd met that you he looked like me. Yes, he does he look a bit, a bit like you. Then he kept trying to set his brother up with every. He was like every girl he would speak to, trying to set his brother oh, up, and I was we'll like, see. "You need to be careful, pal. They're about 15. Oh, yeah. And they even danced with your auntie Sarah. Did they? They did. Sarah was there. I didn't see Sarah. Sarah was oh. there. We need to get Sarah on the pod, actually. Do we? If mum can never make it, we should just sub in Sarah. I don't think anyone would notice. They just think you're That's in a bad mood. <laughs> <laughs> she would not or, be happy about or that. Not bad mood, just like... She speaks much better than me. Yeah. Or a she bit sort of stricter. She puts all her on. She's quite strict. Yeah. Anyway, she had a lovely time uh, with Eddie good. and Billy. Wow, I bet she did. Mm. It's mummy's boy. I've been really getting into Greek yogurt. Have you? For the first time. Yeah, it's yeah, a good yeah. swerve. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's become like a I big don't deal like for yogurt. me. It's become a big deal. Really? Yeah, because I don't like many healthy things. And, <laughs> and I've been having ginger Greek yogurt and it's like Ugh. really good. Is it? 
for, for breakfast with fruit and look at you. Yeah, yeah. How you've changed since your cocoa pops days. You didn't eat anything God, but yeah. cocoa, cocoa pops, pops back in the day. And marmite sandwiches for lunch. Marmite sandwiches. Mm. What's your favourite cereal? No, that's rubbish chat. <laughs> Um, I can tell you've been eating healthily and looking after yourself because really? you looked very fit on stage. <laughs> and at one point, am I not allowed to say you look very fit? No, you can, yeah. You can, fit yeah. as in fit, fit, physically fit, not like yeah. fit. Um, right. yeah. And you took clarify. your jacket off to lots I of did. squealing from the girls. Squealing. Squealing. <laughs> and you, no, not that, that's oh. not squealing. Yeah, that's that's like a, a bloody squeal. warthog. Yeah. No, no, squealing as in, no, I won't do it because it will scare people. Screaming. All right, screaming then. What's um, squealing? What's the difference? Screaming What's is the a different thing. official definition thing? of a squeal? A squeal is more... <laughs> <laughs> rather than... <laughs> but I think it was more Isn't of a it? scream then. No, it was... <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> anyway, you took it off. They made a noise because you were wearing a very fetching... Some red. might say dashing <laughs> red vest. Red vest. A red vest. Yes. Although actually, your Auntie Kim, who was also there, said wow. she thought you could have done with said red vest being more fitted. Get wow. her, dear. Yeah? So, you know. How fucking rude of her. Fuck no! Off, no, no I'm joking. Arthur. I'm joking. No, you know, she's she's No, I get no, very... I agree I could have been shorter. Yeah. No, just more tightly fitting, I think. Tightly fitting? Yeah, no, a little bit tighter. Tighter, mm. tight enough. No, I don't think it was. My nipples out, if there's any tighter. Nipples showing. No, I think she meant around here. Pierce. Yeah, I, I think that's what I meant. Like, it could be short oh. anyway. Um, anyway. I was in a red, I was in, I was in a blazer, I was in a suit and everything. It was very which smart. Which I think is my new thing. Oh, I felt very good. good. Oh, good. Yes, suit, please wear them more often. Confident. Excellent. Well, sort it looked alter ego very, type thing. Yeah, it looked really nice. And it's nice to sort of and have that moment where I whip it whip off. Whip it off. Like in Bruce Almighty. Bruce Almighty? <sighs> no and he goes out. Does he? And all his clothes come off. All of them? Yeah. Oh, we don't want to go Maybe that not all of them, but I'll work on it. I'll be able well, to it was that, a good moment, and then you, and you did some really good dance moves. I think yes. you need to put more more moves in. More moves. More moves. Should, do you think I ever get to a point where I have backup dancers? Do you think and no, sort of doing. Can we not? <laughs> that kind <laughs> not of stuff. Like that, all in no. sync. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think that would be good. No, not yet. No. I could be your backup dancer. No, that would be that's highly okay. no, amusing. No. 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 Okay. No. Talk, uh, you're back to your vest. Right. Because we went off on one, really. At my very vest. What? Nothing. <laughs> He's back to his vest. <laughs> He's back to your Ow. vest. Somebody said to me mm. that you were a thirst trap. Which I was a led thirst me trap. to go, A, what? What's a thirst trap when it's at home? When it's at home? What, what is, is a thirst saying? trap? Of course that's a saying. Don't you know anything? <laughs> it's not just me that doesn't know stuff. Think about stuff. what you just asked me. What's the thirst trap when it's at home? Oh, don't you know anything? Of course it's a saying. I've Uno reverse carded you there. What? I came second in Uno at the weekend, I'll have you know. God, celebrating second. I was quite happy with it. It's a horrible mindset. No, I think David isn't. Goggins would be happy about that. Who's he? We should get him on the pod. Who is he? He's like a... Fitness. You don't know, do you? No, he's like the, well, it's he's taking a fitness, you a long time motor, to He's tell a motivational me. fitness guy. I was laughing at the thought of him on here. <laughs> he's that a motivational fitness box office. Well, he'd get you to touch your blooming toes, wouldn't he? Yeah, by like he's... shouting at me. Oh, does he do shouting? Wake up, stay hard. Oh, oh dear. Yeah. Oh no, we don't he's want really to do that. intense. Is he? He's a freak, but like in a very. <gasps> you can't say that. No, but like, no, you can. I don't, you can. I don't think you he. Can. You can. He's like he's a mentality freak. Oh. He ran an he ran an ultra marathon on a broken leg what, in idiot. forty degree heat. Oh, but that's ridiculous! Yeah. And he's like no, broken the record for the silly. amount of pull ups in a twenty four hours, and he's just, oh. and he, he used to weigh like three hundred pounds, and now he shredded and he just has very he's very motivational. Is he? Is this no? All those pictures. Random. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ooh. What do you mean? Ooh. <laughs> ooh. 
I don't like that look. Yeah, I, don't I like do actually that. listen to some him him his speeches in the gym. I'm not joking. Do you? Yeah. I um, could do your motivational speech for when you're in the gym. Arthur. Could you what to celebrate coming second? <sighs> right. Okay. You'd be like celebrating second makes you a bitch. Well. I'd you want to wake up and be a bitch? You want to be on your deathbed when you're 75 and you think, I didn't do nothing. I woke up and I decided to be a bitch every day. <laughs> That's what he'd say. Oh, I came second in fucking Uno? And you're bringing that shit up in front of me? <laughs> Is that how he speaks? Not really. Oh. It's close enough. <laughs> Got only well, one I don't bar. Think he doesn't sound like a very nice man. No, he's definitely not nice. No, he's, well... I don't know why we're giving him The whole thing is time. that like, you don't need happiness. You just need Yes, you bloody ethic. do. Oh, stop it. I think man. he's had like six divorces, but... I'm not surprised. It's because, you know, I ain't got time to deal with people's problems. I got to go to work. That's his whole vibe. Ha! <laughs> it's what I say to David Goggins. It's a silly name anyway. It's mummy's boy. We're playing oh, game. Two game. Lies and a Truth. Yes, lovely. Hurrah. The question... Yeah, go. The orange peel theory is a popular TikTok trend in which users can test the loyalty and dedication of their partner. What does the orange peel theory require the partner to do to pass? Do they need to? A. Remove the dead skin from their heavily tanned partner's back. Much like the peeling of an orange. Oh, that's revolting. B. Serve an orange on request to a partner, pre-peeled, without being asked. C. Save the orange peel from the couple's first orange in a memory box. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what's it... What, 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 what does it show you about your relationship if you pass this test Just how, how dedicated and loyal they are how dedicated and loyal they are mm -hmm. oh for heaven's sake i know oh it's really tragic that one of those is going to be true it's just ludicrous it's luda luda join us in part two Looks where that. we'll find out the answer and for your mum can we talk correspondence, correspondence. it's mummy's boy Wow. Oh, Welcome oh. back. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. We had a yeah. great break just I then. I enjoyed my tea. Very shortly, we'll be getting to your mum, can we talk correspondence? But mm. first, before the break, <sighs> I asked you, mm. the orange peel theory is a popular TikTok trend in which users can test the loyalty and dedication of their partner. But what does the orange peel theory require the partner to do to pass? <laughs> do they need to? <sighs> a. Remove the dead skin from their heavily tanned partner's back much like the peeling of an orange. B, serve an orange on request to a partner, pre-peeled. C, save the orange peel from the couple's first orange in a memory box. <laughs> okay, this is... Uh, what? You're looking. I'm not looking. I've not got my glasses on. I can't see anything. Stop Scribble. looking at it. I'm not bloody looking at it. Well, move it then. Right, what's anyway, your answer? I'm getting there. I don't think it's the third one, because how would you know that it was your first orange that you were going to ever eat with your partner? And so in which case, no, what? don't look weird. Why are you looking like... Mm. It's not the last one. No, it's your first one. Well, yeah, so of course yeah, you're going to so know when the first you... orange is. Yeah, you know you've just... Oh. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> My logic just isn't the same as anyone else's, is it? But so, okay, so you sit down and, and you've had a meal or whatever and you decide to have an orange, hmm. but your brain doesn't go into this, oh, it's the first orange I've ever had with this person. I'm going to put all these bits but in But that could box. be the test, couldn't it? But that's just bloody silly. Well, that's right. End of, right, That's that doesn't work for me. The one in the middle about peeling it and giving it to somebody... I mean, that's not a great task, is it, to be able to peel an orange? So what's your answer? Which leaves me with the first one. Would you expect Dad to do any of these things for you? I think, actually, Dad has peeled me an orange in the past. Okay. Only because I'm just lazy and he just is kind. Mm. He certainly has never kept 
orange peel in a box because that would be silly. Might not have told you. He's also certainly never peeled skin off me. It is something that I absolutely love to do. I would do be very happy to peel skin off. Not oh. other people, but myself. You wouldn't do it off someone else? I don't think I'd be very happy doing it off someone else. If you could like have a nice like clean slate on the back, just rip it off. I'd love that. That's sort you of opening to, a new page. Off, not rip it off. It would Turning be the page slow of and kind of... Your favourite novel. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's the first one. It's, it's the first stupid. one. It's stupid, whatever it is. The answer is... Oh, God. B. Oh, for fuck's sake. The orange sake. peel theory. Oh, fuck off. Of course it's that one. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't get this one. Why? Because the, the other two are fucking stupid. Well, and that yes, one's but like, everything's uh, stupid. The, the, the whole like, thing is stupid. Stupid. The orange peel theory basically describes that when your partner does an act of service for you, that's something that you are perfectly capable of doing on your own. Oh. Like, for example, peeling an orange. And I did say that daddy done exactly. it Exactly. You, you almost, you basically said it yourself. And you still didn't I get did, it right. No, and I still didn't get it you right. You big nincompoop. I am a nincompoop. Wow. Sorry. Anyway, you got that wrong, you idiot. I did, didn't you I? Did. I think you've got a lot wrong recently. I think you had a good run. I did. And now it's been a it's been a while since you got one right. I think. Uh, uh, the, I feel like last time we didn't. I well, I know. can't. I can't remember. It hasn't it been far. good. Oh. <laughs> um, right, Mum. Are you ready Sauce. for some Mum? Can we talk? Well, actually, I'm not entirely sure. No, you're probably not. Probably not. These are the worst ones ever. Are they? No, I don't know. I haven't oh, seen. Oh God. Them. <laughs> Shall we dive in? To the uh, deep end. Okay. Oh with God. no life jacket and with no land surrounding us for miles and miles. For miles and miles. Should we dive in with piranhas and sharks and and crabs? Jellyfish. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I don't like crabs. Neither do I. No, funny little things, aren't they? <laughs> Question one. Yes. From Go. Anon. Oh, not another one. You see, now, I think we said last week, or whatever it was, um, stop doing a non. They're too nervous to say who they are, which generally means it's going oh, to be a silly question. I see, right, yeah, yeah. Yes. Stop doing a nuns. Yes. Stop Come doing on. your nun. Go on then. From a non. Yeah. Hey, Arthur and Lisa, I'm 21, mm. and the guy I'm seeing is 32. Oh. I'm in love with him, oh. and it isn't serious yet. <laughs> he recently has been having performance issues in the oh. bedroom. Oh. But the other night, some magic occurred. Oh, good oh. We did the deed, and when he finished, <laughs> he got up and said, Hey, I've still got it. <laughs> <laughs> I giggled and said, What do you mean? He then looked me dead in the eye and said, You're the first woman I've had sex with since my divorce. <laughs> His divorce was five years ago, oh, which was complete no. news to me. I feel like he's still hung up on her. He says he wants to move on, but I just don't know. What should I do? Oh, kick him out, for God's sake. You're <laughs> 21. <laughs> what? What? That, it, that, oh, that, hey! The fact that I've he could, still got yeah, it! The fact that he could say that yeah. is enough to Woo! kick him into Yes. Touch. Knew I could do it. Thank you, Arthur. Is that Woo! <laughs> Can't wait to tell my friends about this. Wonder how long it lasted. <sighs> she did say it was magic. Well, she did, but she's only 21. Could have been a cruciatus curse. Could have been we a did... what? Oh, I don't know. That bad joke. We, um... Okay, right. Sorry, I got a bit carried away there. You did get a bit carried um... away. But so I think I'll... Well, I think no. She, he's got to go. He's got to go. He's got to go. End of. Why? Why? I, I, I Why? think that's harsh. Just because he had a divorce. No, not Five because he had ago. a divorce, but because he can get up and say such a stupid True, thing that is pretty... when he hasn't even told. Yeah, her but that then he's, he, been, he's been five years since he's since he's well, yeah, so boned he, a chick. Yeah. <laughs> Revolting. No, Arthur. I mean, it's true. Five years. God. That's a long time. Okay, but he Any man kept would that to jump him. on the bed. <laughs> yes! Said, oh, fuck. Yes! Knew I could do it. 
I mean, God, I'd probably do the same after five years. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'd save it for when I leave. Door shuts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly that, Arthur. Exactly um, that. Just you're to... the first one I've had sex with since my divorce. I mean, thing is, there isn't much evidence that, to suggest that he's hung up on his ex-wife. Yeah, she just sort of fl- flings that in at the end there. Well, she does, but he says he wants to move on, but I just don't know. I would also say, you know, twenty-one thirty-two is a is a pretty big. It's a bit of an age. Diff. Yeah, it's what a pretty big diff. Oh, big diff. Yeah. Yes. Maybe he's is. a pretty big dilf. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that age gap at that age, if you see what I mean, is is quite big. Mm. At what age? What do you oh, mean by here that? We go. If they were. I don't know, if she was 25 and 35, for some reason that doesn't seem quite so bad. No, it doesn't. 30 and 40 doesn't seem that bad. But it's, you know, there's, these are... 2010 can you doesn't just... feel that bad. That's a joke. I think it's not that... funny at all, actually. It's horrible. So... But... Carry on, carry on. If it... she... <laughs> right, that's it. Enough. Enough. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're all having such it's a lovely level, time level humor. on my behalf. No, at my expense. Zip. No, I'm not saying. So- uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Are we moving right. on? Yes. I, I don't feel like on. we've already offered much. Yeah, mum says have, get rid. We have. We have. I we often say get rid. Quite a lot of advice. Yeah. Right, question two. Yes. From Freya. Oh. Hello, Queen Hill and Saucy Arthur. Saucy? I'm a body piercer and often get hit on by clients who take my kind nature as flirting. You did just call me Saucy Freya. Yeah, you did. Um, I've recently had a client add me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, and even go as far as to add me via PlayStation, which must have taken some time to find me. Mm -hmm. He's even found my SoundCloud and brings up how much he likes my music when he sees me. How do I go about telling him to sod off? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had any stalkers? Love the podcast and Tiny Room is one of my favourite songs ever written. Oh, wow, thank Freya. you, Freya. Much adoration, Freya. That sounds quite Blimey. scary to me, all those ways that you can get, um, you know, Yeah, he stalked. seems he seems to like you. Via PlayStation? Via play- yeah, how well, does that's pretty work? crazy. Well, you're on your PlayStation playing FIFA, whatever, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden somebody pops in was that no you can add oh sorry boring sorry, you. you can add requests as a verb you can oh, add requests right, um you can request friends on on playstation just like any can other you? thing oh okay so he's obviously found her on that which is very weird but then she says that she actually sees him so she does know this chap no but she, yeah because she's a she's a body piercer oh right oh so he's obviously going so, in for some piercings mm, well next time he goes in she's got to have that thing in her hand whatever it is that she's about to pierce him with. Mm. And she says, could you just stop um, following me and stalking me? It's making me feel uncomfortable and get it really close to his face right? in a threatening way. I feel like we should improv that just so <laughs> she, she knows exactly how to do it. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, right. Okay. I'm imagining it's a body piercing shop, so I'm going to yes. go for a sort of gothy character. Gothy. Yeah. Oh God, who am I? He's a, I'm going to say he's 30. Is he? Um, he's he's a he's a gamer. Um, loves Slipknot, and you are you are Freya. Am I? Yeah, yeah. I you know I've I've added you on PlayStation and all this. Yes. All right. D- door door oh. bell goes. I've come into the shop. Dingling. Oh, there's a dingling. Oh, hello. Oh. Hello, Freya. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I found out I found you on TikTok. Oh yes, Colin, you did, didn't you? Huh. You also found me on various other PlayStation. Uh, you were yes. playing Minecraft. I'm, I have big house, build big house on Minecraft. Do you, Colin? Mm. I would. I would. It, Colin, sorry, sorry. let me finish, Colin. Why are you here today? I want my belly pierced. 
You want your belly pierced? Yes. Okay, Colin. With a jewel of your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a sh real shame. Because you're Col beautiful. Oh, that's very kind of you, Colin. But unfortunately, I'm right out of jewels of my face. Would you like somebody else's face? No, I want yours. I want yours. Oh, well, in which case you might... Or Lady Diana. Oh, Lady Diana. Because you look like her. You're the people's... You're my princess. Oh, dear. You don't... Don't die, though. I'm, I'm not planning I would on cry it. if you died. Would you? Don't die. Colin. Colin. Oh! Colin. Calm don't die. down now, Colin. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. That's it. I nice and calm. Piercing. Piercing. Um, okay, Colin. Why don't you just come and lie down yes. here on the couch? Okay. And if you'd like to, just pull up your mm. top. So you have an amazing I... voice, by the way. I love your music. That's very kind of you, Colin. The it, uh, heavy metal is my favourite music. Is it? Yes. When they go... <laughs> yes, that's one of my favourite bits as well, Colin. Um, but I, I am a little concerned that you're getting a little bit too keen on mm. me. Now, don't but do that face, Colin, <laughs> because you know that that will upset me. But I'm going to get my piercing equipment okay. out now. Here it is. Ah! Don't worry, Colin. I promise no, I won't too hurt big. you. No, it's no. fine. Close Let your eyes, no. Colin. Ah! Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> and and seen. Wow. <laughs> Dear, oh that Lord. Was, that was, that was I dark. I got really into that one, yeah. You did a bit. I was a mm. bit scary. Colin. Poor Colin. I don't know why. This, that might be my Joker role. I could become what? Heath Ledger and oh. become the role full time and it could no, please get don't. too dark. And yeah, no, I didn't like it. I feel like it. I enjoyed that a bit too much. Yeah. Wow. Um, so, so Freya, anyway, Freya. That's what you need to do, Freya. Yeah. Just watch that a couple of times. I hope, and, yeah. You know, I hope that didn't hopefully... hit too hard. That was a pretty... Powerful rendition we just did there. <laughs> <laughs> just get, yeah, just scare him off. Scare him off. Right. Question four from Sarah. Sarah. Hi, Arthur and Lisa. Hello. Just wondering, what's your advice on getting over post concert depression? Because I'm still in tears over Arthur's tour ending. Oh. Kind regards, Sarah. Oh, Sa hey, I me met a too. girl called Sarah. At your gig? Yes. She's, she went to every one, if, if it's the Sarah I'd That would so be her the front then. row. Yeah. She's great. Oh, she's great. She sets, the, she sets the energy. She's, she's a super fan. She's a, super, she's a super fan. So how does she get over post-concert depression? I don't know. It's, I'm still mm. I'm dealing with it myself. Yeah. Just listen to his music yeah. a lot L and think about the next time. Our tour is a mindset, you know, Sarah. Every mm. week is our tour. Maybe our tour is just the friends we made along the way. Sorry. And you are one of them. Yes, true. And there'll be another one soon. Hooray! Have we finished? Yes, we Have ended we? on the Sarah question. Oh, okay. Gosh, that was quick. I know. That's what um That's what Anon, Anon said. Yeah. After he hopped up and said, Yes! That was quick, yes. she said. Always re that's yeah, you didn't have yeah. Always remember. All right. Pfft. Don't burp. What's the matter with you? I didn't. You so did. What? Do oh. Always remember, listen and watch new episodes every Wednesday. And if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story that you're desperate for my mum to read, slide into the DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or give me a message on WhatsApp on 07822 013 837. No matter what the issue, I will ask her. Her, the cat's mother. That's me. My mother. Bye. 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 Bye.